Hello all, welcome to our video on superconductivity. Superconductivity is a fascinating science of materials that conduct electricity with zero electrical resistance. The questions discussed in this video are based on the properties of superconductors, theory which explains the superconductors and applications of superconductors. So let us start. The first question is, which of the following statements describe the Meissner effect in superconductors? The options given are A. Decrease in electrical resistance with increasing temperature Option B. Expulsion of magnetic fields from the interior of, of the superconductors Option C. Increase in electrical conductivity with magnetic field strength Option D. Formation of vortices within the superconductor To answer this question we must remember the Meissner effect refers to the expulsion of magnetic fields from the interior of the superconductor when it is in the superconducting state. The superconductor will remain in superconducting state below a certain critical temperature. Therefore, the correct answer of this question will be yes, you guessed it correct. Option B expulsion of magnetic fields from the interior of the superconductor. Next question. Which type of superconductors exhibit a sharp transition to the superconducting state? The options given are Type 1 superconductors, Type 2 superconductors, both Type 1 and Type 2 superconductors and Option D, no sharp transition occurs in the superconductors. To answer this question correctly, we may recall that Type 1 superconductors exhibit a sharp transition from normal to superconducting state at a critical temperature. It is characterized by a complete expulsion of magnetic fields famously known as Meissner effect. Therefore, the correct answer to this question is Type 1 superconductors exhibit a sharp transition to the superconducting state and therefore option A is correct. Next question is In Type 2 superconductors, what happens beyond the lower critical field? The options given are Option A Complete expulsion of magnetic fields B Formation of vortices C Decrease in critical temperature D Loss of superconducting state To answer this question, we must remember that above the lower critical field, type 2 superconductors form vortices which can trap magnetic flux lines. This leads to a mixed state with partial expulsion of magnetic fields. And therefore, the correct answer to this question is in type 2 superconductors there is a formation of vortices beyond the lower critical field. Next question is which theory explains the phenomenon of superconductivity on the basis of pairing of electrons? The options given are option A Ginzburg Landau theory, option B Planck's theory, option C BCS theory, option D Einstein's theory. Here we must remember that the bardeen cooper schaeffer theory famously known as BCS theory explains superconductivity. It proposes that electrons form pairs and the pairs are known as Cooper pairs. The formation of these Cooper pairs is due to the attractive interaction mediated by lattice vibrations that is phonons. And therefore the correct answer to this question is option C BCS theory. Next question is which type of superconductors are often used in high magnetic field applications? The given options are Option A Type 1 superconductors B Type 2 superconductors Option C Both Type 1 and Type 2 can be used in high magnetic field applications and Option D Neither Type 1 nor Type 2 can be used in high magnetic field applications. Here we may recall that Type 2 superconductors with their ability to tolerate high magnetic fields and retain superconductivity in the presence of vortices are commonly used in high magnetic field applications such as MRI machines and particle accelerators. And therefore, the correct answer to this question is type 2 superconductors that is option B are often used in high magnetic field applications. Next question is what is the primary limitation of type 1 superconductors in high magnetic field applications? The given options are Option A High cost Option B Limited critical temperature Option C Weak magnetic field tolerance 
and option D high electrical resistance. The context that will help us to answer this question is type 1 superconductors have limited magnetic field tolerance and exhibit a complete expulsion of magnetic fields below a critical field strength. Thus type 1 superconductors are not suitable for high magnetic field applications. And therefore the correct answer of this question is option C weak magnetic field tolerance. Next question is which property of superconductors make them ideal for developing sensitive detectors? The given options are option A high electrical resistance, option B low magnetic field tolerance, option C Meissner effect and D formation of vortices. To answer this question correctly we must recall that the Meissner effect leads to the expulsion of magnetic fields from the interior of the superconductor. This makes them ideal for developing sensitive detectors such as superconducting quantum interface device famously known as squids. And therefore the correct answer to this question is option C that is Meissner effect. Next question is which of the following is not a characteristic of superconductors? The given options are option A zero electrical resistance, option B expulsion of magnetic fields Meissner effect, option C increase in critical temperature with increasing magnetic field and option D formation of vortices in type 2 superconductors. The facts which will lead to the correct answer of this question is superconductors exhibit zero electrical resistance, expulsion of magnetic fields and formation of vortices in type 2 superconductors. However, the critical temperature typically decreases in the presence of magnetic fields. And thus the correct answer to this question is option C increase in critical temperature with increasing magnetic fields. Next question is which of the primary advantage of using type 2 superconductors in high magnetic field applications. The given options are option A complete expulsion of magnetic fields, option B sharp transition to the superconducting state. Option C tolerance to the high magnetic fields and option D low cost. The information that will lead to the correct answer is type 2 superconductors can tolerate higher magnetic fields and retain superconductivity in the presence of vortices. This makes them suitable for high magnetic field applications such as MRI machines and particle accelerators. And therefore the correct answer to this question is option C tolerance to the high magnetic fields. Next question is which application of superconductivity utilizes the Meissner effect. The given options are option A magnetic resonance imaging MRI, option B power transmission lines, option C magnetic levitation maglev trains and option D superconducting quantum interface devices squids. The points which we must consider to answer this question correctly are MRI utilizes strong uniform magnetic fields created by superconducting electromagnets. Power transmission lines are based on near zero resistance of superconductors and squids exploit the Josephson effect. It is a phenomenon that arises due to the wave like nature of electrons in superconductors. Maglev trains utilize the Meissner effect to levitate and propel the train above a track using superconducting magnets and electromagnetic propulsion. And therefore the correct answer to this question is option C that is magnetic levitation magnetic trains utilizes the Meissner effect. Next question is which type of superconductors are often used in high precision magnetometers and sensors. The given options are option A type 1 superconductors, option B type 2 superconductors, option C both type 1 and type 2 superconductors can be used in high precision magnetometers and sensors. And option D neither type 1 nor type 2 superconductors can be used in high precision magnetometers and sensors. To answer this question correctly we may recall that type 2 superconductors possesses the ability to retain superconductivity in the presence of vortices. Thus they are commonly used in high precision magnetometers and sensors such as superconducting quantum interface devices squids. And therefore the correct answer of this question is option B type 2 superconductors are often used 
in high precision magnetometers and sensors. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this has helped you in understanding the concept of superconductivity in a better way.